Christmas. So happy Christmas day. We are the 25th of December. I hope you're all having a fabulous day or by the time you are watching this have had a fabulous day. We are up. It's I didn't sleep very well last night and I heard Bronte get up in the early hours and she wasn't feeling too good at all but she's okay now. So that sort of woke me up a little bit really and kept me awake because I was had my ear, ear out listening for her because even when they're growing up you still worry about them don't you anyway martin's gone to work boo but you know like we said yesterday i know lots and lots of people are working today and keeping things ticking over for us over the christmas period which is amazing keeping people safe and you know services running that need to be um running so to any of you that are working over the festive period. Thank you so much for all you're doing. Bronte's working tonight, and so obviously I'm taking her back to Leicester later, and I'm staying over. So I might do a bit of cheeky filming this evening from her flat when I'm all on my own. Ooh. Anyway, I'm just feeling a little bit, I don't know, a little bit, I don't know, emotional, I guess, today, because obviously I'm thinking about my dad and Christmas has passed, etc. Um but also, you know, and also feeling a little bit sad that we're not having our family Christmas today just because of circumstances as well. But on the other hand, I'm also feeling very, very grateful because I know there are lots of people out there that are facing lots of hardship in many ways this Christmas. And, you know, I'm very lucky that I do have my children around me and that means everything, doesn't it? That's Isaac playing with Piper. So anyway, so today is going to be a very different Christmas day for us. It's not really Christmas day. We're treating it as Christmas Eve. I've got the beef in the oven because we are having hot roast beef sandwiches today, which is normally our Christmas Eve tradition. We generally get a piece of beef and we cook it. And this goes back to my mum doing this when my parents were alive. Years ago when I was growing up, we would always have a piece of beef that she would cook Christmas Christmas Eve and we would always have a slice of it to have in a hot sandwich and it was just divine. So I've kept that tradition going with my own kids, my own family and we've decided to do that today because I'm not cooking a dinner obviously and we're going to have that later. So I've got the beef cooking in the oven, it's making me hungry already even though it's only been in there 10 minutes. It, the smells emanating from the kitchen are divine. I'm wearing my sapphire frills earrings today. These are little stars which I thought were quite Christmas day appropriate so I've got those in and I'm going to do a bit of sewing because I still haven't made those slippers that I said I was going to make and we didn't get any sewing done yesterday and today feels like we can do that because it's Christmas Eve to us. So Martin's at work, he's out of the way, I can make his slippers. So I'm going to print off the pattern that Adam very kindly sent me. And I'm going to see what we've got in the stash and see if we can get him some slippers made. So he's got an extra little gift to open tomorrow. We have each opened one gift already um with martin well with all the kids being up because isaac got up actually um so before martin went to work so we decided that we would open one gift each and bronte's opened her mermaid blanket which she absolutely loves isaac's got a mug that's got some profanity on it that bronte bought him <laughs> and um i opened a present for bronte which was a head marker it's an adjuster form hem marker it's fabulous i borrowed one from judy a while ago and really wanted to get my own so yeah so she's bought me one for christmas which is amazing and i can't wait to have a go with that it's going to make life so much easier i will show you it at some point but um not right now so i am going to get this pattern printed off bronte's just upstairs getting dressed and sorted and then yeah i will get this um we'll start rooting around in the stash to see what we have bronte's also asked me to make her uh, some more scrunchies for her hair because obviously she has thick curly hair as you've seen and she can't wear normal bobbles really because they just snag and pull at her hair so she's asked me to make some scrunchies so we'll have a look and see if we've got any remnants of cotton that we can do that for her as well so yeah a little bit of sewing going on today which is quite nice you look a bit wonky sorry guys 
um yeah while the printer is doing its magic i thought i would open charm's day 25 gift and i was going to leave this till tomorrow but thought actually you know what i'm going to open it today because i'm pretty sure this is fabric inside here and i'm excited to see what it is Ooh. oh that's pretty oh that's gorgeous sean thank you so it feels i'm not sure what this is it feels very much like a Oh, it's a stretchy, a stretchy fabric, um, but it'll be good for a lining. It's got, obviously it has um, flamingos on, obviously. So, and flamingos and leaves, what more could I possibly, possibly want? Thank you so much. That's lovely. Boxing Day. So I didn't end up filming anything else yesterday. I'm currently at Bronte's. It is, oh hang on, the right switch. It is about seven o'clock in the morning and I've just got up, just about to make myself a drink and then I'll be heading to um, the hospital to pick her up because she's just done a night shift. So um, we got here about seven o'clock last night and then I had to just drop her off at the hospital and I spent the rest of the evening on my own Christmas day night um I was going to film and edit and get this uploaded last night but I wasn't feeling too good so I just ended up going to bed quite early and then I watched a film so yeah that's that's me so anyway I'll be picking her up soon it's early morning and then I'm going to drive to pick her up from a and &E. and I thought I would just show you a couple of things here that I've made for her because I thought you might like to see it so I know lots of you will probably have seen these before but some of you won't have done so she's got a few handmade touches that I've made for her for her over the years and um the first one is these these little cushions she asked me to make these cushions for her last year I think and they've even got piping on I don't know if you can see but yeah nice and bright and some flowers in her her little um her little flat and then so here's the little Christmas tree skirt I made for her last year and it's quite enormous to be fair but this was a pattern that I just got online and then I think these fabrics were a pack of fat quarters that I bought for her. And yeah, really, uh, really happy with how that's come out. But then the best thing was when I was getting into bed last night because 
about four years ago is it four years ago yeah four years ago um she was going through a really difficult time and she was away from us but i made her a winnie the pooh quilt um because she had one when she was a baby growing up and she i knew sort of it was a real comfort thing for her so i made her a quilt and she's still got it on the bed now um and I saw it last night and was snuggled up to it all night, so I'll show you. Right, so this is the quilt I made her. And this is the first quilt I ever made, actually. But I can't remember where I got this Winnie the Pooh fabric from, but it's really sweet. And then just mixed it with some yellow and grey fabric that I got from Higgs and Higgs, actually. And I bound it with just a um, yellow bias binding. Um, on the back, it's got a grey feathery sort of print fabric and I hand did something on it. Let me just have a look. I'll just turn it round. I hand stitched here for beautiful Bronte Christmas 2018 and a couple of hearts. So yeah I wanted it dated so that she so that we'd always got a reminder of when I made it. Um and yeah here it is still on a bed bless her. That's better. Put nice soft lighting on just to, because I haven't got a scrap of makeup on this morning. Anyway, um, yeah, I didn't see Martin much at all yesterday because he was working all day. And by the time he got home, we'd already set off to come back down here. And yeah, I've been on my own for the last 12 hours, which has not been, which has been um, a bit weird, really. It's the first time I've ever spent Christmas in Leicester. But anyway... So the plan is, I'm going to pick her up from hospital in about 20 minutes and then um, we're going to drive home. I think we're going straight home. She's packed a bag of things that she wants me to bring through when I pick her up. But it's only about, as I say, it's only about five minutes away, so it's not far. And then we are having our Christmas day today. I've put my Christmas earrings back in, only so I don't forget them. But when I get home, I think the first thing I'm going to do is jump in the shower and get changed. Martin, bless him, I did speak to him last night and he was preparing everything for today. So I'm hoping him and Isaac will get all that sorted. I know he was making the Bakewell trifle. I will leave the recipe to that in this vlog so that you've got it. And yeah, I'm going to get home, have a shower, open our presents because yeah, we um, we left ours to open today. So today is our Christmas day, which I'm really looking forward to. And yeah, it's going to be a nice day. I'm not looking forward to the drive home. We are, where Bronte is here is about an hour and a half, but that's on a good trip because we have to do the M1 and frequently there's lots of traffic issues. So having said that last yeah, yesterday and today, I'm not envisaging such of an issue because it's going to be early when we're heading back up anyway and it's not a sort of normal work day. So I'm thinking that that it'll be fine. But yeah, ordinarily, it can be a bit of a nightmare. But it is what it is. So yeah, she's got a nice little flat here, to be fair. It's only one bedroomed, but it's nice and clean and modern and quiet. And that's the other thing. We're on the first floor, but it's fairly spacious for her. Don't know how she'll get on with the baby here. Right, we're home. I'm wearing a new jumper that Martin got me for Christmas, which is just lovely. So, um, yeah, good drive back up north this morning. We've opened all our Christmas presents. Tea dinner is a cooking and smells delightful. Martin's got something to show you. Hello. <laughs> Behold, I have made the Bakewell trifle. Trifle mess. <laughs> trifle us <laughs> yes, it is the greatest that. trifle ever made oh my word you are just amazing homemade sponge filled with jam topped with biscuits soaked in amaretto yeah homemade custard and i mean homemade custard from scratch okay raspberries yeah whipped double cream yeah toasted and almonds. freshly toasted almonds you are amazing there's no wonder i married you and it's all mine no it's not yes it is no it's not <laughs> right it's now early evening and i'm going to sign off for vlogmas for 2022 but before i do i thought i would just show you some of my christmas presents that i got because we only opened ours today so um might have mentioned this 
I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier in the vlog, but Bronte bought me one of these hem marker things. So this is an adjuster form one, I think. Yeah, an adjuster form one. It's a chalk hem marker. And basically it's got a stand that's got measurements on the side and then you put the chalk in it and then use this puffer thing and when it's on your mannequin <laughs> mine's just helping himself to leftovers you um you can level the hem so i've wanted one of these for ages and i'm really glad to finally get one so that's awesome and then martin bought me some fabric from fabric godmother as well which he got me this one which is one of their new ones he got me four meters of this it's absolutely stunning i love it i am not sure yet what i am going to make out of it because i want to make something that i'm just going to wear all the time so but i just absolutely adore this fabric it's so so nice it's got like a bit of a I don't know if it's going to come up on screen. I don't know if you can see it, but in the black, it's got like a sort of jackety look to it as well. You might just be able to see it. So the black background is not completely flat, but it's beautiful. So, so happy to have that. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was this, what Bronte got me, which is going to go up in my sewing room somewhere because, you know, it is always five o'clock somewhere and I think it's about five o'clock here. So I'm going to love you and leave you now. I am just about to have a glass of Prosecco and some of that gorgeous Bakewell trifle. I will leave the link to the recipe for that down below so you can go and check that out. I hope you've enjoyed Vlogmas this year and I will hopefully be back with you really soon. Getting back to normal with sewing vlogs and yeah, take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye.